All right, hey yo, this is a guy with two knives. I'm here today to show you my top 10 personal knives that I own. This is not the top 10 best knives or best knife companies or best blade steels. Those are everywhere and all over the place. This is just what I personally own and the reason why I value them. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. At first, I'm gonna give a couple honorable mentions. Uh, honorable mention to the Leatherman Super Tool. This thing has been with me forever. Probably the longest uh, tool or knife that I've owned. I've had this since probably just after I graduated high school. Uh, it's got inch marks on one side, centimeters on the other. And got a pretty hefty set of pliers there. A little bolt cutter in the middle. You can cut really thin nails with that. Um, I've used it to, to cut through some, some things, some, you know, you can cut through a little bit thicker than the paper clip. Uh, you've got a uh, serrated blade on here. If I can get that to focus. The serrated blade. Uh, this one is made out of stainless steel. I think it's either CM154 or H420HC. Um, but yeah, it's got a bunch of tools on it. This screwdriver tip, full full Phillips screwdriver tip is super useful. I've used it a lot actually. Um, a lot of other things are the tiny little flathead or a, maybe a pick. I've, I've used it very poorly and kind of mangled it. It's a little bit burnt and twisted. Uh, it's got a bunch of other stuff on here. There's a can opener right there. And then on the other side, oh, and I think I didn't say this part. This is one of the best saw blades that I could hope for on the tiny little multi-tool. This saw blade is actually super cool, double cut saw blade, so it's useful. Um, go on to the other side. I got our man of the hour, which is the knife. And the only reason I did not include this in the top 10 list, because it is a multi-tool, it didn't feel like that was fair. And I'm sure there's a, there's a whole other section for that of uh, top 10s of multi-tools. So I'm going to leave that off the list. But honorable mention does have a bunch of other stuff on it, like this uh, file that I've clearly used a lot. This is a double cut file as well as a single cut file. And there's a, uh, a little ream or awl. You can also, it's kind of sharp, but not really. It's more of an awl. Um, let's see what we got else on here. I'm trying to make this quick. I'm not trying to take all the time on the honorable mention here, but I'm going a little slower than I thought I would. Got a couple more screwdrivers. Got a big one and a little one. There you go, got a big screwdriver, a little screwdriver. And it's just a solid, solid tool. This um, had it forever, stainless steel, and just, I mean, what more can I say? A Leatherman Super Tool, honorable mention, Super Tool 200 in stainless. Again, that's in uh, either CM154 or 420HC, I'm not sure which one. Great multi-tool. Second honorable mention is going to be over here. This is my classic Victorinox SD. And uh, again, has a little pen knife there. It's stainless steel. I'm not sure what the stainless is that Victorinox uses. But um, it's, it's a good little knife. It is very sharp. And the reason why they call it the Classic SD, I found out today, actually looking into it, was that on the end of the little file there, your little nail file, you have your screwdriver tip. So that's why they call it SD. It's because it's got the screwdriver. This is in the translucent green Celador handles. I made this little fob just so I can have a better grip because it's so small. Um, hold on to it. Actually, I made, made the... Uh, made this little fob so I can hold on to that uh, hide and carry bag. That's my kind of camping go bag. It's got a bunch of stuff in there. So that 
handle not only keeps it in the bag but also gives you a little more grip when you need to need to use the knife anyways that's one side on the other side you have your scissors which are super useful if I can pull them out and these awesome for cutting paper maybe really small zip ties if you if you have that or um, what I use it for is even to like trim my mustache at times you know super useful sharp little scissors and then of course in classic Victorinox fashion you got your tweezers and on the other side you've got your little toothpick so great little multi-tool but uh, not necessarily just a knife so honorable mention for that love this thing All right, moving on right into the meat and potatoes of the whole situation and why we're here today is my top 10 again this is personal opinion my humble opinion this is not the best knives or the best manufacturers. These are just the knives I own and the reason why I ranked them in that order. Uh, so getting right to it. Number 10, it's gonna be my King Max Assisted Open. <laughs> Took a ding out of the table there. King Max Assisted Open. This one is in stain, uh, stainless steel. It's a base, very basic uh, 7CR stainless um, has wooden handles and they say carbon fiber but this is just plastic on the top um, with carbon fiber kind of a paint and I bought this on the recommendation of uh, Project Farm who does really great videos and if you haven't seen him you got to check him out Project Farm great channel um, he recommended this if you just wanted a cheap knife and I was kind of in the market for a cheap knife so pick this one up does have a little belt cutter or a little notch in there so you can maybe cut open packages or whatnot. And it has this little protruding part that I guess is supposed to be a glass breaker, but I wouldn't trust it because it's really rattly. It's already loose and I have never used it. So yeah, this is just a kind of a basic knife, super cheap, um, stainless. The assisted open action is really nice, but it's number 10 for me for sure because it is so rattly it just it just rattles to no end and make the noise it makes open door closed it's just horrible but yeah that's the king max and nothing special about that wood handles plastic and wood composite single-sided pocket clip anyways moving on 7cr stainless that's number 10 at number nine, we have this Milwaukee utility blade. Um, again, not really a knife, but I definitely value this one over the King Max just because it's my go-to box cutter, package open, not package opener, but definitely hard, more of a hard use. Um, just a razor blade, you can switch it out, and you've obviously put whatever high carbon blade you want in there. Um, has the wire pocket clip. Um, I did not buy the one with the extra tools on there. This is just the Milwaukee Fastback. It does have uh, washers in the pivot. I believe they're like bronze washers. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that model number there. But yeah, that's the Milwaukee Fastback utility blade. This is my go-to for opening boxes or opening, you know, cutting down boxes or whatnot and just a, just a really nice knife it's not assisted open it's manual so if you don't do it right it won't quite close but you have no problem just you know flicking it open clicking it closed good knife solid pick for number nine moving on number eight got the open L. number 12 this is again <laughs> Not to confuse, but the Open L number 12 is the model number of this knife. This is a number 8. And features of this are the integrated wood handle. It really feels good in the hands. Gives you something to hold on to. And has this collar here that locks it not only in the closed, but it lo locks it, will lock in the open position as well. Um, you just turn that there, and now it's kind of locked open. This one, it has a little better steel than the previous uh, King Max. This one is actually Sandvik steel. 
which is 12C27 Sandvik, stainless as well. And this is just a kind of a beast of a blade. This thing is huge. I'm struggling to keep the whole thing in in the shot right now. It's so big, but it it just feels great in the hand. And this notch really will help you to open it if it becomes difficult to open, because it probably will. It'll get gummed up and dirty if you use it often. Um, it's a little bit harder to clean out, obviously, because it's all fully integrated wood handle, but because it's fully wood, fully integrated wood, it just it feels really good in the hand. This one makes me feel <laughs> kind of happy opening and using it. It does have a crisp edge if you need to strike fire steel on the back. And yeah, great knife, open L number 12. Moving on, this is number 8. This is number 8, so we're moving on to number 7. I'm going to try to do this all in one go, right? Number 7 is my CJRB Cleaver. And contrary to the name of the knife, it is not a cleaver shape. It's, I feel like it's more of a drop point, maybe even a reverse tanto. I don't know if you want to say that, but I feel like it's more of a drop point shape. It doesn't look very cleaver-esque to me. But the main reason I bought this was before I bought that Fastback Milwaukee, this was my box breaker, cutter down, opener, all that stuff. I'd bring it to work with me. It's got D2 steel. Not rust proof, but it is very strong. will hold an edge forever. Um, has reversible pocket clip, pocket clip, G10 handles, and again, D2 steel. Ball bearings in the pivot, and just the action is just butter smooth you don't even have to flick it you can just pop pop it close um only reason i don't maybe put this one a little bit higher than it is is because it has a bit of that same rattle that the king max does it does have ball bearings in the pivot so that could be the reason why but yeah i just i can't deal with that little rattly noise <laughs> bugs me but this is still a really good knife i bought this because I could not afford the axis locks at the time, and this was kind of a good compromise because this almost has the, uh, the axis lock sort of mechanism where you pull that back and it can close. You can also close it like a, a shark lock on the uh, Demco's, you just put your finger down there. So yeah, it's a good little knife, uh, D2 steel, G10 blade, CJRB cleaver, good knife. Moving on. That was the number seven knife. On to number six, we have my sort of uh, gentleman carry. This is the Artisan Cutlery Small Arc Small Archeo, and uh, it's pack of wood handles and a VG10 Damascus blade. Let's see if I can even get that to focus here without stabbing myself, of course. Uh, VG10 Damascus. I've always wanted a Damascus blade, so I went ahead and got one. This is sort of a raindrop Damascus pattern. Really good looking. Milled pocket clip. And uh, this is non-locking. It's just a double detent. If you want to lock it, you have to put that hardened pin back in. And now it's, now it's locked. And if you're somewhere where you cannot have a locking knife, you can only own slip joints. You can just untie this, pop it off, and now it's basically like every other slip joint, and I just, I like it a lot. This is a really cool little, what I thought would be my kind of a gentleman carry knife if I need something a little fancier, not menacing. I can totally use this traveling, maybe in states where I can't have a bigger knife. So yeah, you can use the same little pin to lock it closed, so now it won't open. There you go. It's the Artisan Cutlery Small Archeo in BG10 Damascus with pack of wood handles and milled pocket clip. Moving on. Now this is going to be my only fixed blade. I know I need to get some more, but this is my introduction to fixed blades. This is the Mora, Mora knife, Mora knife, and just a companion basic non full tang stainless now this one's going to be the same stainless steel as the openel it's 
the Sandvik, uh, Sandvik 12C27 and just really sharp blade. I use this to make uh, feather sticks or maybe camp camp stuff. I take this with me. I'm going to be doing outdoor stuff and it's cheap so I don't have to worry about beating on it. It's just a really good knife, super duper sharp and uh, you know, got a really good handle. Comes with this um, plastic sheath, nothing special, but you know, holds it in place. Got a belt clip if you need to pop it onto your belt. And yeah, that's the Mora, Mora knife at number five, Mora Companion with Sandvik 12C27 steel. And right here, we're gonna go from number five to number four. This is the unboxing portion of the video where I open a new knife that I've never had before. So this is gonna be, let's see if I can put this down here. I need two knives in my hand. You know what they say about a guy with two knives. This is gonna be the Benchmade Tagged Out in CPN Magna Cut. This is manual open. And I've never had a bench made before, nor do I own one up until now. This thing is pretty. I've seen it only in pictures. They had it at the blade show, and I jumped on it. Uh, got the carbon fiber version handles. Super light, super lightweight, and CPM Magna Cut blade. See if I can get that to focus. CPM Magna Cut, and you get, no, it's not going to focus, yeah, kind of, but yeah, it's got um, orange Cerakote on the blade, and man, this thing is, so, look at how thin that thing is, it is so light, it's over three inches, and I, it feels like I'm holding a pencil, this thing is super, super duper light, um, I do have the access lock, uh, let me see if I can flick it open. Not quite. Let's see. Try that again. And you gotta, yeah, there you go. You gotta give it a little oomph. It's so light it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna do it. I guess it would be more of a manual open. This is uh, I guess targeted towards hunting, so maybe they're expecting you to just kind of slow roll it open. But you can sort of flick it if you put enough emphasis on the right syllable. <laughs> Anywho, that is the bench made tagged out in CPM Magna Cut. And that is my number four. And again, this is the only reason it's not higher on the list is I just opened it. I don't know if I like it or not, but it is a pretty knife. Moving on. Number three on the list is going to be my Kaiser Cormorant. This is fat carbon handles, button lock with LMAX blade. There you go. It looks a little funky, but I got this because it's sort of the uh, the every kind of way open you can have. This is Elmax. Of course, it's not going to focus now. Let's see. Yeah, focus on that. Nope. Not that I want to do it. Anyways, yep. Yeah, Elmax blade, um, black coated, and I got this as just sort of a, an adult fidget spinner because it has has flipper tab, normally normal flipper. You can also do the reverse flick, you know, you can do the spidey flick with the, with the little opening. You can do the normal thumb flick, you know, if you're not a derp like me, you can thumb flick it open. You can do the spidey drop. It's just, just, just a fun blade. You don't even have to touch the blade. You can just hit the table and use it with the button lock. So, yeah, again, Kaiser Cormorant, just a real, real good looking knife. It's super fun to play with. You should not play with knives, but I definitely do. So that's my number three, Kaiser Cormorant and LMAX with the G10, oh, sorry, uh, it's gonna be um, fat carbon handles and titanium pocket clip. Moving on to number two, and again, this is personal opinion, my humble opinion, just the knives I own, and the reasons why I am giving them that 
rating. This is my Hogue Deca V2. Uh, this originally came with plastic handles, and I have swapped them out for some G10 in uh, lime green. The blade is CPM MagnaCut. Nothing really focuses, but I'll try anyways. Uh, it's just <laughs> CPM MagnaCut, and um, just I like the blade shape. This is just a real pretty knife. And uh, since it's so nice, I ended up getting two of them. There's another one here, if I can pull that out. This is a G10 uh, Damask, what, they, what do they call it? Gmascus Red Lava G10, G10 handle. And same CPM Magna Cut blade. Got washers in the pivot. And you know what they say about a guy with two knives. Someone with two wives would be happy. No, you're thinking of someone with two knives. I gotta tell you, this is pretty terrific. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty excellent. And just real pretty. I I love this knife. It does have uh, the the axis style bar lock there. They call it a able lock, I believe. And so. I liked it so much, I bought another one. That's my number two. And number one, again, some of you will not agree with this. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. If you don't, that's cool. I don't mind. This is just my personal opinion. Number one for me is probably one of my cheapest knife. It's not the cheapest knife. I own about this at a big five on special. It is a Speed Safe Kershaw Brawler. And the reason why it's my favorite is because it's the first knife I ever owned. Um, this one is just some kind of basic stainless. Uh, it's 8CR 13MOV. It's got G10 handles, every way pocket clip, four position. Um, I think it's nylon washer pivots. It doesn't, doesn't have ball bearings or even uh, uh, bronze washers like some of the other nicer blades do. But this one just pops open and it's been it's been with me for so long i've had you did used to do uh, construction used it to cut carpet open boxes zip ties all that type of stuff it has the sort of california or americanized tonto blade and it's a hollow grind so it's pretty slicey even though it's not the best steel it's just stainless steel um this is kind of what I learned to sharpen with because I wasn't afraid to mess it up. I mean, it sharpens really easily. I'm not going to hold the edge forever, but the uh, 8CR 13MOV is sort of easier to sharpen than some of those other things like the Magna Cut D2 and LMAX. I'm a little bit afraid to sharpen those, but when the time comes, I'll have the abilities to from this guy. And again, this is my favorite just because it's been with me for so long. Big Five Special, I think I paid 15 bucks for it. Full uh, full metal liner lock. It has a nice G10 backspacer. So it actually, even though it's a small blade, it feels good in the hand. And uh, yeah, that's my number one. So if you degree, disagree or you put them in different positions, let me know down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.